Hello guys. In this video, I will show you how to deploy a Kubernetes cluster on bare metal servers. I'm going to set up a home lab cluster using Kubernetes with one master node and two worker nodes. All of the devices are running Ubuntu Server 22.04. I'm not using automation tools like Ansible or Terraform, so it takes a little bit of time to copy and paste commands into three terminals. Now, let's start. First, we have to connect to our servers by SSH connection. I'm starting with a fresh install server. So, after connecting successfully, I will upgrade the server operating system to the latest version. Press A to select option, none of the above. Now, we should reboot servers to apply a new version of the operating system. We should set hostname for each server following a rule to make it easier to manage the cluster. Next step, I need a text editor to update the host's file, so I will install the nano editor. You guys can use another editor based on your favor or familiarity. For each node, I have to update the host's file to mapping server's IP and hostname.
I must disable swap in order for the Kubernetes to work properly. First, disable swap. And using command free to check. You can see that swap size is zero. Perfect. Now we disable swap on startup. Using a text editor to update this file. It is the static file system information. Comment out this line then save and close. Load the following kernel modules on all the nodes. Set the following kernel parameters for Kubernetes, run beneath T command. Reload all changes. In this tutorial, we are using Containered Runtime for our Kubernetes cluster. So, to install Containered, first install its dependencies. Now, we enable Docker repository. And then, run following apt command to install Containered. Configure Containered so that it starts using systemd as C group.
Restart and enable containered services. Execute following commands to add a PT repository for Kubernetes. Install Kubernetes components like Kuba Control, Kubalet and Kuba ADM Utility on all the nodes. Now, we are all set to initialize Kubernetes cluster. Run the following Kuba ADM command from the masternode only. Now, try to run following Kuba control commands to view cluster and node status. Join both the worker the nodes output to the above cluster. Confirms command the is already plane there has is been an initialized just copy paste on the worker nodes. In output also we are getting set of commands for interacting the cluster and also the command for worker node to join the cluster. So, to start interacting with cluster, run following commands from the master node. Check the node status from master node using kuba control command. As we can see node status is not ready. So, to make it active, we must install container network interface or network add-on plugins like Calico, Flannel and WeaveNet. In this tutorial, we are using Calico. First, download the Calico networking manifest for the Kubernetes API data store. This is the manifest for a cluster has 50 nodes or less. Next, open downloaded file to update pod classless inter-domain routing. Find calico underscore ipv4 pool underscore cidr variable in the manifest and set it to the same value as your chosen pod classless inter-domain routing.
OK, save and close file. Run following Kuba control command to install Calico Network plugin from the master node. Now, verify the status of pods in Kuba system namespace. Let's wait until all pod status are running. Perfect, everything looks good. Now, check all node status. Great, above confirms that nodes are active node. Now, we can say that our Kubernetes cluster is functional. That's all. In the next video, I will show you how to deploy an application on this cluster. Thank for watching and see you soon.